The University of Texas is expanding its affordable housing blueprint for students and it keeps them closer to classes. The state of Texas just purchased a long-standing apartment tower to provide more on-campus housing. KXAN's Caitlin Carmoot joining us live from there at 21st and Guadalupe, the Dobie Center along the drag. And Caitlin, what does this mean for current and future UT students? Robert, this 27-story apartment building sits on the southwest corner of the main campus. University tells me it has the capacity to house 980 students, but right now it's not at capacity, nor is it full of just students. I talked to some who hope this signals change for the better. We toured places and then he was like, this is where you're going to live. After checking out several off campus housing options, Olivia Nabarro landed on Domi 21. Perhaps it was the nostalgia that drew her in. Her dad lived there. Well, he went to UT. Korean food down there. I've been eating it since I was a kid. Decades later, the center is changing hands. With the rising cost of housing in Austin, we're really worried about uh, the challenges our students face as far as being able to live close to campus affordably. The university purchased Doby 21 for over $104 million. At the same time, UT is investing in more graduate student housing on the eastern end of campus. Over 700 beds will be added near the baseball and softball fields. We take these two things together and it's uh, a really great time for us to be adding more capacity to serve our students. President Hartzell says students living closer to campus tend to perform better. Next steps for Doby, figuring out how to revamp it. We haven't talked about how to make uh, the, the, the place more vibrant and offer more student programming. I do expect with that many students of ours living there, we'll find more ways to engage with them and offer more activities there. And those who live here agree it could use an upgrade. It really depends on how they go about addressing some of the issues. Like if they just, if it's just literally a change of hands, then. You know, it's probably a good thing just because I'm not really fond of the management here. Maybe the university will step up like the upkeep of the building. And President Hartzell wasn't able to tell me if any set renovations are in store for Doby. Right now, there also aren't any land acquisitions either west or north of campus, but Hartzell says they're always looking for strategic opportunities to expand housing. Caitlin Carmoat, back to you. Thanks, Caitlin. These changes happen next school year. All lease agreements remain in place until then. President Hartzell says the retail tenants, including the Target store at the bottom of the building, will be welcome to stay there.